ever wanted a really cool piston door that you can have in your base to show off to your friends or to just look cool? Well, have you come to the right place? Meet the 3x2 glass door. As you can see, it's got a pretty cool opening animation. Then you can run to this side, press the button, and close the door. Then, if you want to open it, just wait a second, and then press the button, and voila, it'll open. Then, you can run to this side and close it. I'll show you the redstone. But this will only take us probably about 15 minutes to build. As you can see, not too difficult of redstone. Then the top part's even easier. Just this. Pretty simple to build. So, if you're ready, let's jump in to the actual tutorial. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is get all your materials. What you're going to want to start with, though, is you're going to want to start with a bunch of solid blocks. I do not have the number on how many solid blocks you want, but you're going to need a lot. Just for, like, placing redstone on and for things like this part of the door or this part. So you're going to need solid blocks. That includes stone brick and most blocks, but it doesn't include half slabs glass. It doesn't include that. But... The other thing you're going to need after that is you're going to need your six glass. Doesn't matter the color. Actually, you can work with any. You can even use tinted glass. It works too. And funny enough, you can use glass panes as well, but it wouldn't be considered a glass door, I believe. So up to you. Uh, then you have to get yourself two copper bulbs. Doesn't have to be waxed. You can choose any color of copper bulb. It just has to be a copper bulb. The next thing you're going to need after that is you're going to need three observers, six sticky pistons, six regular pistons, two comparators, 31 repeaters, uh, it's 86 redstone dust, one redstone torch, and then two buttons. And that's all you need for the materials. The first thing you're going to want to do after you got all your materials is you're going to want to come to where you want your door and place one, two, three, and then place a block here. Then do the same right here. So one, two, three, then block here. So these should be all sticky pistons, just like that. And they should be all facing upward. Then you have your blocks on top and this will be floor level. So wherever your floor is going to be, that's what level it is. Remove that one. And you're just going to cover this up. So just like that, that's what you're gonna wanna see. Then you're gonna place yourself some glass, just like this. Then place block here, block here, block here. Then block here, block here, block here. And you can actually, I was wrong. You can place these blocks here. I, I was thinking a little bit differently. Then once you've got all this set up, you're gonna wanna place one, two, three, four. And you should end up with something like this. And this will be right where your door is. Then you're going to go right above and you're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Just like that. So one, two, three, one, two, three. You should have a block up here. So seven blocks up. Then place one, two, three pistons, just like that. So you should have a three block gap. Then place three more pistons, just like that, and break that. And that's all for your pistons and your sticky pistons. So you can actually move them out of the way. So now on to the redstone. And the first thing we're going to do with the redstone is you're going to place blocks like this. Then place three repeaters at three ticks each, just like that. Then place three more right here. Then redstone dust up here. Then you place redstone dust. Then place one, two, three. Face it into the wall. And then go back like that. And place one here. Then do the same on this side. Just like that. So it should look like that. Then just place two three tick repeaters. Just like that. And then two on this side. Then you can grab a lever. This is just a temporary lever. This is just so you can test it out if you want to. 
you'll see it won't fully activate, but it'll move a little bit. Then you'll click it and voila. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna come over here, place a block here, block here, then block here, and block here. And then remove all those blocks on the way down. And then you're gonna wanna place a block on this top sticky piston. And then you can place a block here, just like this. So if you have this, you've done it right. Then you're gonna come right here, place a three tick repeater, just like that, and redstone dust. And that should have this side work, at least mostly, besides this part. But it should end up just like this. And don't worry, you don't have to reset it as well. Uh, we, it will reset itself once we have it all built out. But that's what you need to do. You need to have this. The next thing we're going to do is you're going to place a block here and do the, basically the same thing you did over there on this side. So, block up, block up, redstone dust, then block here, just so you can reach it, then three tick repeater right there. Then you can test it again, and voila. The next thing you're going to want to do is place a block off the second highest redstone dust, so the block underneath it, then you're going to place a block here and then a block here. It should look like this. Then you're going to place three tick repeater there, three tick repeater there, then redstone dust. Then you're going to break this block, place three blocks just like that, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, then redstone dust. Then you can test it out if you want to. Uh, it won't fully work because uh, we're, we're missing one more thing. It just needs that final retraction, so what you're going to need to do is place an observer off the opposite side of the one that your activation is going to go on. So if your button's going to be on this side, then you're going to want to go to this side. And vice versa if it's on, if your button stuff is on this side. Then you're going to place a block there, then go straight this way, just like that. Then place four tick repeaters right there. One four tick repeater there. A two tick repeater here. So two ticks and redstone dust. Then you can test it out for yourself. This whole bottom segment will fully work. Then if you want, you can cover it up. Just like this. And... There you go, there's your opening segment. Apologies for interrupting. I'll make it brief so you guys can get right back to the tutorial. But I just wanted to ask if you guys could hit the like button. As you've seen, you guys have smashed the like goals on every single one of these. And I'm working on another tutorial for one that you guys have earned. But I have one right now that you guys could have if you guys smash it again. I want you guys to hit because you guys have hit it every single time i want you guys to hit 40. i don't think you guys can do it this is a pretty simple tutorial it's a one by two or two by one however you want to call it i think it's a two by one if you count it like that but it's a two by one glass door you'll see pretty quick then you can walk through and press the button and there and it's pretty similar to all these because it's a glass door and they all use the same mechanics and this is all the redstone much simpler than that one. So, if you guys want it, remember, 40 likes. But other than that, I'll let you enjoy the actual tutorial. Also, I just wanted to ask, if you guys could please consider subscribing, it means the world, and it'll let you see more content just like this. So if you want it, please consider subscribing. But other than that, I'll let, I'll let you enjoy the rest of your video. So, enjoy. Next, what you got to do is you got to place a four tick repeater on this one. So whichever side you're going from. So you'll just, if you're starting on this side, just mirror what I do on this side. So if I place a repeater here, you're going to want to place a repeater here. And so on and so forth. But just basically mirror what I do on that side if you want it on that side. Then you're going to want to place a block here. 
block here, block here, and then block here. So you should have four blocks right here, then redstone dust, and then a four tick repeater right there, redstone dust, redstone dust, and then place block in a block. And then you can place a block here if you want to. Then you place a copper bulb right here, a comparator facing out of it, and then redstone dust right there. And you should have this sort of build. So this, you're gonna have to just press a button and you'll see if it activates and then press the button again. There, if that works, you've got it all right. The next thing you're gonna do after you have all that set up is you're gonna place your blocks just like this, make a little square, just like that. Then place a repeater there, a four tick repeater here, four tick repeater here, four tick repeater here, three tick repeater here, then observer here, and observer here with redstone dust. Though you may wanna remove this observer real quick and now place the observer just so you don't activate it. You don't wanna activate it and then activate this. Then you're just gonna place redstone dust just like that. And then place a block on top of this. So it should look exactly like this. You should have a square, one tick repeater going into this one, this copper bulb. Then have a four tick going in this side with redstone dust going around. Then once you've got that, this part's pretty easy. All you're gonna have to do is place a redstone porch right there. Then a block coming out of this redstone dust. So it should be right there. A comparator, then a block and a copper bulb. And that should be your final copper bulb. Then you're gonna to wanna to take a break from building this part and build where you want your buttons. I built this entire section just so we can shortcut it, but you wanna place your buttons on each side. Then you're just going to basically get a way to get your button all the way over here. So block here and it should be aligned there. You can place it right and then redstone dust right here. Just like that. Then do the same on this side. So find where the block where your button is. Then blocks out from one block lower basically. Just like that. There and then this. Then redstone dust. Just like that. And then you press your button. And you'll see it'll activate and then deactivate exactly how it's supposed to. And you can even cover this section up if you so choose. But now we just have to work on the closing segment. So I'll get back to you once I have this wall built so we can start the closing segment. After you've built your wall and your frame, you're gonna wanna come over here and place a block on top of your redstone torch and then place two blocks covering up your glass. Do not build any higher yet. Just make sure you place a block here, then one, two, then place redstone dust like this into this block. So this should be into the highest glass block you have. Then place a one tick repeater right here and leave it like that. You're gonna aim a block right into this bottom piston, then a block here, then place a three tick repeater right there, block here, in the end, block here, then block here, block here, and then just work your way down to this block. So you're gonna want to do this, and they should meet right there. Then just place redstone dust going all the way up, just like that, and you should be at the top repeater. Then place a block here, right above that repeater, block here, then redstone dust right on top. Then a block on this side of the piston. So you should have your redstone dust going all the way up this staircase that you built. Then right on top of these pistons, then place a one tick repeater right there. Now, the reason you're doing a one tick repeater is so that you can extend the redstone. It doesn't actually reach far enough. So that's why you have to. Then you're going to place a block right 
here, and then a block here, and a block here. And then redstone dust here, and block here. So you should have redstone dust there, and then leave a gap here for a two tick repeater. Then a block here, and redstone dust. Then, you're going to want to do the same thing you did over there on this side, but you won't get another repeater. So you're going to want to work your way around so like this, build up, and there. So redstone dust, right there, all the way in. And there you go. So you can come over here, press the button, and try it out for yourself. You'll see the last dart comes down, and then you can press it again. And you'll see, fully functions. And don't worry if you ever accidentally quick press it. So press it quick and do this. It won't fully break. You'll see it won't fully break and it'll reset itself. Pretty easy. It won't break. It can't. Well, it'll fix itself if it breaks. So as long as you've got it working, just be patient. Wait for it to fully go down. Sometimes you have to wait for this one for so long. Then you just press the button, and voila, you've got yourself a working glass door. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any redstone content that you want, or any redstone tutorials that you want, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please consider giving it a like. It tells me that you want more videos like this, and it also lets me know that you guys like this video. Uh, in this editing style. So, other than that, I also wanted to ask if you guys could please consider subscribing. Uh, it helps out the channel a lot, and you guys get tutorials in return. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed, and have a great day. Bye!